Yo, what's up? This is Dante, and this is another episode of Conversate. Eight minute conversations with Asian Americans, and today I'm at a family party, and our guest is Marcus Fukushima. Hey everyone, how's it going? He's actually my cousin, and uh, and there's things I find about you fascinating, so I just want to just talk to you and uh, and then talk more about about you and who you are. So who are you, who who are you? And what do you do? Yeah, so I'm Marcus Fukushima, I'm half Filipino, half Japanese, um, an auditor for Ernst & Young. Oh, awesome. So you're a numbers person. That's correct. So <laughs> I hear, you know, I have other friends that are auditors, people that I know out there, and I, and I hear the auditors, A, especially new auditors, you know, work crazy hours. Yep. Is that true? That's very true. So I, How many I hours work, a week are you working? I work around... I'd say like 60 to 65 hours a week. Okay, that's, a, that's more. That's more than the average person. Yeah. <laughs> but then on the flip side, I heard y'all work hard, but y'all party hard. <laughs> that is kind of true. Is that Depends, kind of true? You no, know, most most accountants are pretty conservative for the most but part. But you heard about them going to Vegas sometimes, or like exactly their first few paychecks, like they gotta go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Is that, is that like a rumor, or is it true? No, a lot of them. So your first two years, you have to study for the CPA exam. So that takes up a lot of your time when you're working, and then you're also having to study. So then after right. that, a lot of people want to release on the weekend. So you got pent up. Exactly. All week, you know, you're stressed out, you're studying, right. and then on the weekends you just want to let loose. And so when you're letting loose, what's your go-to drink? Captain Morgan and Coke. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's still, I still... I just st classic Captain Morgan and Coke? That's right. I mean, it's stuck with me since college, you know? It's so sweet, that Captain Morgan. Yeah. I, so the trick I learned is you drink some Diet Coke with it. It takes a little bit of the sugar away, a little off, so a little bit off the Morgan, hangover. Captain Morgan and Diet Coke. Exactly. Oh. That's, that's my new drink. All choice. right, but hold on a second. When you went to school, I know you were a jock. You were a jock. Kind of, kind of, yeah. We were in fraternity. Nick, was I was he a fraternity. Jock? I was a jock. What, did you, what, was your, what was your sport? Uh, water polo. Water polo. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's but that was like high school. That's not ordinary. That's a little out of ordinary. Yeah, a little bit. And so water polo, again, is an intense sport. Yeah. I wrestled, so when I wrestled in high school, the wrestlers and the water polo guys like looked at each other like you're tough guys and you're not football players. Yeah, because you know football players have it's like very similar. They're both wearing like spandex. Yeah, but there's like it's like tough it's like, without being your yeah. ordinary. I mean, not ordinary. Like everyone knows football players are tough, but not you're like you know stereotypical tough. Yeah, guy. exactly. So what was your position in water polo? I usually played the wing. Okay. So. I don't know much. I, just, I don't know why I asked that. I <laughs> it's, it's similar to basketball. It's similar okay, to okay, basketball. Okay. So you have like a center and then you have, you know, point okay. and then the wings. But now, um, did you, uh, we, all that stuff underneath the, underneath the water, is that real? Yeah, it's real. Scratching, what was your life? everything. Did you get injured doing any of that stuff? Huh? No, I never got injured, but it was, it was pretty terrible. You know, there's a lot of grabbing going on. Really? <laughs> yeah. People grabbing. Yeah, they tear your shirt. Short? Oh, yeah. Shorts came off. Yep. Every once in a while. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. And when you throw the ball at somebody, do you try to hit them or you try to pass them? No, you're always trying to pass. It's, you ever, you're, you're never throwing to, to injure. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's pretty hard to hit someone because it's just their head out of the water. So I mean, okay. you can't really do too much damage. So. Okay. Um, also, so now you are. Working in the here in the work world. Yes, you're like a young. I've known this kid since he was a very young baby. <laughs> he's younger than me, way younger than me. So since he's a baby, he was like a bruiser kid. But now you're growing up. Your style. What you? How do you? How do you approach your style? What do you? How would you classify your style? Uh, you know, people at work call me hipster a bit. Really? Yeah. You know, they say you know, short hair on the sides, long on right, top. Right, right, That's right. like the hipster. Kind of like a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Are you, yeah, yeah. are you a hipster compared to your I, other? I don't think so, but... How do no. you think your style? You think you're like... You grew up in the OC? Yeah. What's that like? You think you're a typical OC kind of kid? Yeah, absolutely. I remember I'm, you... I'm gonna stay here for sure. Like, you're OC dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what do you think would classify... Like, what do you see as the Orange County like lifestyle? Um... I don't know, it's more laid back right. than more places. Oh, beach? Everyone, yeah, everyone loves the beach. I remember you kind of going to the beach a lot. Oh, yeah. We so used do to you go surf? every Wednesday. Do you surf? Yeah. Are you good? No, not very good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not a good surfer, but you no. love the beach. Yeah, and I love surfing. Definitely. You're a good swimmer? Yes, excellent swimmer. Were you or were you not a lifeguard? I was a lifeguard. <laughs> was it I like taught Baywatch? Swim lessons. Was no, it, like it was Baywatch? not Baywatch. I was I was a pool lifeguard, not okay. not, not as glamorous. Did as you ever rescue a hot chick? No. What? A lot of Mexicans, but 
Huh? That's it? No hot chicks? No hot chicks. What the hell? I guess I'm staying. Um, so now, you know, it's going to be a new year. It's a new year coming up. The year just changed. And what's, what are you looking forward to in 2017? Anything in particular? 2017, um, I might start looking for a new job, you know. You're already over this job? <laughs> yeah. How long have you been in the job? Five years now. So it moves that fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Uh, I've been working on an IPO lately, so I might try to get a job there. We'll see. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's an initial public offering. It's... You defined it, and I still don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so it's when, a, it's, when a, it's when a private company decides that they want to get some new investors, get additional funding. Okay. So they'll, they'll uh, basically register with one of the public markets to sell their shares there. Okay, so you defined it again and I still, <laughs> I'm a little bit, I get it, but I'm not 100% getting, getting it. But it's okay, I'm not a numbers person. I need numbers people in the world, obviously. But you're excited about moving on to something new? Yeah, like yeah, new absolutely, absolutely. You're kind of like a type A personality. Oh yeah, person, definitely. Right? Yep. That's what absolutely. I like, you know, it's funny about you with like the cousins, it's like, Everyone has their own personalities, but you in particular are very kind of type A yeah. to a certain degree. Yep. And is that the Filipino side or the Japanese side? It's the Japanese side. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Although, we know the Filipino side. <laughs> but it's like, I don't think your other brothers and sisters are like that type A. I think my, my sister is a little bit. You think she is? Yeah, she's... But she's kind of all over the place sometimes. Exactly, yeah. But my brother is definitely not. <laughs> He's like no. the opposite. <laughs> He's type C or D. Yeah. <laughs> type Z. On type the other Z. End, yeah. That's it. But do you find that works for you in the world with women with the work? Yeah, absolutely. It's I like mean, Wolf of Wall Street kind of like. Yeah, it's. <laughs> go get him. So okay, give me before we go. We don't have that much time. What is your favorite? What's your what's your favorite like song out right now? Song out right now. Uh, I still like My Boo, the Hitman. You know, the Running Man Challenge song? No, do I know this? J Nick, you know this song? No. You heard My Boo by Ghost Town DJs? Oh, yeah, My Boo! Yes! That's an old school song. No. It's an old school song. Give me a call. That's all? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the Running Man Challenge song. You know, you've never heard that song? I that's a great know. song. That's my favorite song. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to end on My Boo. That's Marcus Fukushima. Thank you for watching Conversate. See y'all next month.